good to see you. It is. My name is Amy. And my name is John. And you are here watching United Breaks Out and this is our place. Yeah. You see our logos on our t-shirt. We really wish we could be camping, don't we? We do. But we can't. So we thought we'd bring it to your home. Yeah. Now then, today we are doing all about following God. So that is what our story is going to be about today. Yeah. But to start us off, Sam is going to help us to get warmed up. Come on then. Are you ready? Let's go to Sam. Hi boys and girls, my name is Sam and today we're going to be doing some exercises to get us ready for the day. And we're going to be pretending to be some of my favourite animals. So we're going to start off and we're going to do what I like to call the meerkat stretch. So we're going to put our hands up like this, stretch up and we're going to look over there, can we see a lion? And we're going to look over there, can we see a lion? And we're going to look back, try and find that lion. I think we're okay. Now we're going to be doing what I like to call the giraffe stretch. So we're going to reach up our arms in the air and try to reach those tall leaves. Can we reach them? Can we reach them? Do that stretch, stretch all the way, nice and tall. Amazing. Now, we're going to pretend to be a lion. You've got to do the biggest roar you can to warm up our face muscles, okay? So three, two, one. Ah, amazing. Nice and wide. Now, everyone likes to fly. Uh, everyone wants to be able to fly, so we're going to pretend to be a bird. Nice and big stretches. Can you do a big stretch? Oh, amazing. That is the best stretching I've ever seen. Okay, and finally, we're going to pretend to be an octopus. So get your arms ready, all over, wiggle about, like an octopus would, and rest. Amazing, guys. That is some amazing stretching, and I think we're ready for the day. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Sam, for helping us with our warm-up today. Yeah, but now I think it's time to go to Sophie for our story about following God. Hello everyone, my name is Sophie and I love Our Place. I've been in Pebbles, I've been in Boulder Gang and I've also been in Our Place. But today I'm going to tell you a story and this story is about a man, a bad man, but God makes him good and it's called Saul on the road to Damascus. Oh gosh, that light is so bright, I can't see. Saul, Saul, why are you being so cruel to me? Tell me who you are. I am Jesus. I want you to go into the city and I will tell you what to do. Saul couldn't see anything, so someone had to lead him by the hand into the city. Jesus found his friend Ananias, and he said to him, Saul is not bad anymore. He's going to tell everyone about me. I have chosen him to do some special work. Ananias put his hands on my eyes and now I can see again. I hope you enjoyed the story of Saul on the road to Damascus. This story shows that God knows us. Even when we do something bad and made bad choices, he can forgive us and we can follow God and trust in him. Goodbye, it was great to spend some time with you. Thank you, Sophie, for bringing us that story all about Saul mm. and how he started to follow God and to trust in him. Yeah, and now it's time to go to Katie and Tim for our prayers. It's time to pray. Today, we're going to say sorry to God for the things we have done wrong. God will forgive us and take the bad things away. For our 
our sorry prayers, we'll need a tray and some rice. Draw a picture of the thing you're sorry for in the tray. Then shake it out. God has forgiven us. He's taken it away. What are you sorry for, Tim? You're sorry to Jesus. And he's smiling by his look. He's got a lovely smile. Smiling by his look. Lovely. And then we'll shake him loose because Jesus forgives mm. him for all his sins. Mm. Amen. Now, let's see what activities we're going to do today. So, Amy, what is our craft activity today? Well, today's activity involves some paint and I put some paint on my foot and then I walked on some paper and a picture is coming up on your screen right now. And I wrote the words, follow Jesus on it and decorated a little bit. So you could have a go at that at home. Okay, Amy, what's our activity today? Okay, John, I need you to wear this blindfold. And as John puts this blindfold on, okay. I am going to grab an object and he is going to have to try and guess by touching it what the object is. You're going to get to see the object. So I'm going to go and grab it. Put my glasses on over the top. <laughs> okay, here is the object. Hope you can see it. Nope. John, have a feel of this. Tell me what you think it might be. Well, it's solid. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit dirty. It feels dirty. He's right. It feels dirty. It's not very big, so it's not mine. It could be yours. I think, and, and by the <laughs> smell, by the smell it's yours, definitely, I think this is a Wellington boot. Let's take your mask off and see. He got it right! Oh, oh well, wow. it's not mine or his. This is useful when you go camping. So Definitely. you could do that activity at home too. Wow, Amy, what is our messy activity today? Well, John, I'm going to use my paintbrush and go through this shaving foam. Right. And then you are going to follow what I do. A bit like we mm. heard about Saul following Jesus. Okay. Okay, so you follow me in the marks that I make, okay? okay. Can I stretch over there? Can, Can I stretch follow? over there? There we go. Oh, it's getting quite thick. You following? I'm trying. It's all getting gunked up. Here we go. Can you follow? Try and go right back to the start. Yeah, and that's amazing. that's an activity that you could do at home. Day one has finished. Wow. Already. We hope you've had a good time. Yeah. And enjoy doing those activities today. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.